Today, the Cooperative Banks Development Agency will hold a session under the theme Facilitating Economic Transformation Through Cooperative Banking at the National Treasury in Pretoria. This is in an effort to encourage South Africans, especially small businesses, to consider cooperative banks as a viable way of managing their finances and transforming the economy. Oloetse Machane is the Managing Director of the Cooperative Banks Development Agency and she joins us from our Hatfield studio. A very, very good morning to you, Oloatsi. Thanks so much for being with us. Uh, good morning, Leanne, and good morning to all the Morning Live uh, viewers. Excellent. I'm glad that we've, uh, we've got everything sorted and we're able to have this conversation. So what are, what are cooperative banks and, and how are they actually different from commercial banks? Okay, so in a nutshell, Leon, cooperative banks, these are member-owned and controlled uh, banks. So they are owned by their members and they are not driven by profit, but they are driven by benefits for their members. Whereas with the commercial banks, they are owned by shareholders and they are purely profit-driven. So that's the main difference, basically. Okay, so, so you are working with Treasury to host today's event. Um, what is your role? Uh, in, in this particular space? Uh, our role as the Cooperative Banks Development Agency, as the name says, so we uh, develop and support groups of people who want to form cooperative banks to register and once they are registered with the South African Reserve Bank, we continue to capacitate them, we capacitate the board members, we capacitate the, the management and all the staff members of these institutions. Mm -hmm. So really our role is that of capacitation and support. Mm -hmm. So we are an agency of the National Treasury. We report uh, to the Minister of Finance. Okay. So I, I just want to get back to um, the, the, the role of cooperative banks. This form of banking, how, how does it okay. benefit an individual or, or a business? And, and how does it actually contribute to, to the, the whole economic transformation conversation? Okay, we, most of our people, Leon, in South Africa, they remain either unbanked or underbanked. So cooperative banking is supposed to provide a full suit of financial services but not only just financial services, but transforming the lives of people. So for example, as a member of a cooperative bank, firstly, I'm an owner and a member. It's a bank that I can control. The bank is based on savings first before you can access credit. You benefit from lower rates. You can access, you can, uh, your home loans, your car loans, uh, you can take your children to, to school, so really, it's, it's a powerful model that all over the world uh, people see the power, the transformative power of of this model. So, as a member of a cooperative bank, you are just not a a number or a client, mm. Mm. but you are somebody that uh, the the bank wants to make a difference in your life in whatever your needs are. Okay, okay. So, so recently we saw in the news liquidity challenges at, mm. at VBS Mutual Bank reportedly due to illegal transactions with, with some municipalities. I, is this a similar type of bank and how, how will you use this, this kind of story to highlight the, the legal limitations of the sector? Okay, so cooperative banks are fully regulated by the South African Reserve Bank under the Prudential Authority. So they will make sure that we don't see the likes of VBS. But the main difference is that, so firstly, cooperative banks are mainly dependent on mobilization of savings uh, from their members. And if you check what happened worldwide during the 2007 world financial crisis, Largely, cooperative banks were unscathed uh, because of the power of cooperative banks mobilizing savings mainly from their members mm. rather than from investors and from external borrowing. So they'd make sure that the, the bank's capital, the bank's balance sheets are strong. Yeah. Just quickly, very, very uh, uh, finally, how... If, if members are interested um, in being a part of the event today, are they able to participate? How do they become involved? 
Uh, today's event is at the National Treasury. Yes, people are welcome to come and join us. The event starts at 10 a.m. However, if they are not able to join the event, they are welcome to visit us at our offices on 240 Madiba Street. We are based on the 27th floor. So the event today really is to start a conversation among us as government employees to say, why are we not tapping into the power of cooperative banks like these are powerful uh, institutions all over the world. I mean, globally, these are a trillion dollar, a, a trillion dollar business. In South Africa, we want them to remain uh, rural entities. So we really want to change that mindset and that mind shift. Thank you for talking to us here on the program. With the very best of luck with uh, with today, uh, Oluwatse Machani is the managing director of the Cooperative Banks Development Agency, which will be hosting business and media at the National Treasury Building in Pretoria this morning to look at the role of cooperative banks in transforming the economy.